Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho <laughs> News 6 forecast. Well, it is cooling down nicely outside after a cool day today. The breeze was blowing. Tomorrow we get the cool morning, but without the breeze, and that'll make that cool, crisp feel of the year really nice. You go off your morning walk tomorrow, maybe a jog or a bike ride, a little chilly early on uh, with that cool air around, but it'll feel nice and crisp and refreshing. And then a nice warm up during the afternoon with very light wind and a blue sky. This is my pick day of the week coming up. Uh, tomorrow. Let's first of all look at what's going on right now. A live look at downtown Boise from the Red Line Hotel. It is down to 65 degrees. Not long ago, we were looking at temperatures near 90 this time of night. 40% humidity, so the humidity will be up. There'll be lots of moisture in the air tomorrow as well. Wind is uh, light at five miles per hour. That should go to almost calm. So right now, all of our smoke is located uh, in central California with the, this, the major bulk of the fires. And with the wind blowing to the south, that's what's causing it. That cool air coming in is uh, keeping the smoke to the south. That's why you see all the green circles up over Idaho. So lots of good Air quality, that's good air quality in the green. No more yellow, orange, or red. A little bit of yellow Pocatello. I know it was there yesterday in Pocatello, and there was some uh, some smoke still hanging on over here. And there's also some smoke uh, from the fire to our west around. Uh, I'll show you that here in a moment. The core of the fire, see Redding and San Francisco and Reno. This is uh, all different layers of smoke here. But when we go to the north, notice what happens. Idaho is in the clear. There's a fire northwest of Bend here, and that smoke's going down to the south. But the winds are going to shift a little more westerly here coming up, and that will tend to bring some of this smoke into Idaho. So, yeah, you can't get totally clear of the smoke this time of year, certainly. And a new fire could start, but with the cooler weather, that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Currently, it's 46 in Stanley, 50 in Haley. It's 48 in Idaho Falls and Pocatello. The colder the air mass, the further east you go. And But in Yellowstone, we've got some temperatures in the 30s uh, already heading down to upper teens to near 20 in the morning. It only hit 50 in Jackson, Wyoming today, but it hit 88 in Medford. Our weather's coming from the north, which doesn't give you much of a change, but starting tomorrow, it already starts to come in from the west, and that will give us a change. So we will see that warm up, which is already beginning to occur. When you look at this right in here, the 24 hour temperature change. That wasn't showing up yellow before, but it is now because we're seeing some warmer weather come in. So the future wind gusts, we look at this ahead in the next few hours, all of this is going to go away. And this is what you wake up to tomorrow and through the entire day. Look at that, 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, next to nothing. Precipitation. We had it today, but that rain pushing on off to the south and to the east and not affecting us. So uh, southwest Idaho, completely clear right now. And that flow of cool air is going to continue to wrap its way around this low pressure as it exits. But as it does, hot air, warm air at first and hotter air will start to work its way in. But the heat's not coming from the fires uh, from that direction. And so we won't get that huge billow of smoke. We'll get some smoke coming in, but wow, our temperatures are going to be heating on up. So with the dry air, great weather to wash your car. No issues there. Pay it late today. Mostly cloudy. Had a max wind gust of 25 yesterday, 19 today. Look at that sky clear as the sun was going down. It's down to 48 already, but heading to 84 by Thursday. And if you are headed there this weekend in McCall, if you're traveling in that direction, uh, temperatures in the upper 80s on Friday looks beautiful. Some amazing weather. So here's my Idaho News 6 weather forecast for the Treasure Valley. Blue skies tomorrow. Lows in the 40s almost every location. Low 80s in the afternoon. Now that is a beautiful day with light wind. You get the cool in the morning and it's just an amazing middle part of the day tomorrow and a beautiful warm afternoon as well. So near 90 in Riggins, 77 in McCall. Stanley's going to have some frost tomorrow already. Temperatures are dropping into the 30s around there. It, easily 20s. I think it'll get colder than 28 tomorrow morning. I should have lowered that. And then uh, you look at this extended forecast. 70s today, 80s tomorrow, a big jump to Wednesday to 94, mid-90s for Wednesday, Thursday, and a surge to near 100 on Friday and Saturday as we start the long weekend on. And uh, people, I think campers are going to like this because a lot of times you can have cold and rain, and it's really looking dry down right through Monday. Just a little bit of a cool down on Monday, but still 90. That's above average.